getting ready to go. Just putting the cockpit sole back down. I packed some stuff under there. Use every little bit of available space. Stuff that goes under here, of course, is stuff that we're not going to need at sea. In general, hopefully. Our bosun's chair is down there, but... I don't think there's anything down there we're going to need. We're not going to be changing the oil at sea. We're not going to be, uh, you know, changing the filters or anything like that. What else is down there? Our painting supplies, rollers, brushes, that sort of thing. Uh, bosun's chair. Don't plan on using the bosun's chair. Um, power tools. Won't be using power tools. Things, some things go down in there that we do access, like when we go to the fuel dock in here, and this little bag goes down into the hatch. We have our um, uh, oil pads, you know, the pads that you use to soak up oil and the little nozzle donuts that go over the nozzle so you don't spill any fuel. So this is always handy. Right down in here in our little access hatch. But uh, generally speaking, anything that's down in there is not something we're going to use anytime soon. Well, we still have to put the bikes in. Yeah, we still have to put the bikes in. Are we going for a beer before we put the bikes in or after? Uh, I don't know. It depends on when we put the bikes in. We'll do that tomorrow morning. We we'll take everything out of that locker. Put the bikes in, take the wheels off, slide the frames down in, repack everything in. But it's all, you know, pretty big stuff that goes down in there. So it won't take long. Fuel cans, big tool bag. And then all this has got to be cleared away and I'll do that tonight or this, this afternoon. It's amazing how quickly it comes together though at the end. Yeah, no it does, it comes together real quick. So just about done and I'm still working on the inside. Um, I got the forward bunk mostly done. I still have to secure everything on the, on the starboard side there with the netting, but just kind of getting it all organized and, and set up. Uh, of course fresh provisions we'll have, uh, we'll pick up day before we leave uh, while we're at St. Francis Yacht Club and you know, just putting all of our normal everyday liveaboard stuff away and, and packing it and securing it but just about done and tomorrow afternoon on the afternoon tide we're out of here yep. uh, do we know the time yet um it's about 1 30 we don't have to wait until it's all the way up, you know. Uh, I'd like to get to uh, St. Francis before about 6. 6. Although the sun doesn't go down until 8. So. But still, it'd be nice to kick back and have a last drink and watch the sunset over the yep. over the bridge. That are true. Still can't believe they let us in that place. <laughs> they were very friendly and hospitable there, I thought. Yeah. Anyway, we'll uh, finish this up, do some, do a little video of the bicycles going in, because most people can't believe that we can fit two sized bicycles in this, in this boat. Still kind of amazes me once in a while too, but. We don't have yeah, any. it amazes me too. It's it is tricky getting them in and getting them back. Getting them back out again can be tricky too. But they do fit. So as you can see, we do have two full-size mountain bikes. I've already taken the seats and the fenders off. And while Laura's up doing the laundry, putting the first load of laundry in, I'm going to take the wheels off. And I've already taken everything. I've already taken everything out of the cockpit locker on the starboard side there. It's all piled up on the dock. And once I get the wheels off the two bicycles, I'll wrestle them down in there and reload the locker. It has to go in a certain way, otherwise they just don't fit. Yeah, 
It's got to go like this, and in there like that. And Laura's has to go in first because it's got a suspension shock on it, and it's therefore a little bit bigger. And my cow bars. And your cow bars, yeah. I don't want to take those off. I took the sh shock off, but you know, it's such a pain in the butt. So, all the way down, and oh, my neck. <laughs> All the way back. As far back as it'll go. Right up against the transom. There we go. Okay, that's good. Now that was easy. It's the second one that's hard. And here we go. Now this one goes the other way, like this. I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. Oh, we see. Now we have a bicycle down in there. So it's a little bit harder to get it all down in. Without. There we go. Okay. better at this, I think. Yeah, you are. Of course, getting them out, that's the hard part. Getting them out is always a little more difficult than getting them in. Make sure nothing catches on anything while we're going in here. Okay, what's catching on what here? There we go. All right. That's it. Ah. Pretty much. Now all we have to do is get all this other stuff back down in there. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Piece of cake, as they say. Now the trick is to put the big stuff in first. Ah. Yeah, big stuff in first. Okay, now more big stuff. Well, that's pretty much it, all packed up. Um, just a few little things have to be tidied up. The bicycle wheels still need to be brought aboard, but they're gonna be stowed up forward in the V-berth. And we have a load of laundry in the dryer. After that, it's just a matter of tidying up a little bit, and then we're done. So. We should be out of here. I took my watch off while I was wrestling with that stuff in the... Uh, it's a uh, quarter to 12. It's a quarter to 12. Perfect timing. Um, laundry will be about another half hour. Yeah, laundry will be done quarter after 12.30. Uh, high tide is at 2. So anytime between now and then, uh, we want to get to uh, St. Francis before dark, but that's not till 8 p.m. So uh, I think we're right on schedule. All we have to do is uh, finish the laundry, uh, go turn our keys in, and say hello to uh, Bear Island Marina. I want to go back to my little grass shack in Kaolic and Cool Hawaii. I want to be with all the connies and vahinas that I used to know. So long ago, I can hear. The old guitars are playing on the beach at Ho Now Now. I can hear the old Hawaiian saying, Ego mai no ka ua i ka